What is up? It's your boy Steven, and welcome to Dare to Capture. In this video, I'm gonna give you a checklist on the things you need to do and make sure of before you start using your camera to make a video. Now we all know making a video is some sort of process no matter how you look at it. There's always a process prior to your videos that you go through, regardless of whether you think of it or not, that happens before you press your record button. And sometimes you might press the record button and then realize that there's one or a couple things that you did that completely throws off everything and makes the video entirely useless. This is why I have this checklist. In this checklist, it's only five things, but if everyone always follows these five points, then they're gonna always be set up for the best success when it comes to their videos before they even press the record button. It's also gonna be useful because it's gonna allow you to have less backtrack with anything that you're doing. You're not gonna feel the need to start over because of one tiny mistake. If you're gonna start over, it's gonna be because of something that you're doing with your content or your composition. It's not gonna be something that you messed up with the camera before you even started recording. So on that note, let's get into it. The first point that I'm gonna make is you need to make sure your camera's on. Now I know how silly that actually sounds, but it's something that actually does happen from time to time. You can be setting up everything around you and when you're ready to record, you just press the record button and start going, but you forgot to turn the camera on. When your camera's not on, you can't record anything. I know how ridiculous it sounds to not have your camera on, but trust me, it might happen to you at some point, so you need to always make sure that your camera's on, and that's why this is number one on the list, because that should be one of the first things you always do no matter what. Turn your camera on, and you're more than likely gonna be safe from there. Try not to let everything else that you're doing before you mess with your camera distract you from actually turning the camera on. Things like setting up the composition, getting the perfect lighting, all of these are gonna be super distracting because you wanna get those exactly right the first time as well. So when it comes time to actually get to your camera, it could be at a point where you're trying to rush through things and start the video and get it over with, but you wanna make sure that you have the camera on so that you're not messing up one of the most basic parts of actually recording your video. My second point for this checklist is to make sure that you take the lens cap off. Again, this is something that sounds super simple and something that nobody should ever have a problem with, but at the same time, there's gonna be a point where you might forget to take your lens cap off. And I know what you're thinking. If you're recording a video, especially as one like this where you're looking directly at the camera, you should notice that there's a lens cap right there. And for the most part, that's true. But you'll be surprised some people probably just are a little forgetful, aren't paying attention to something. There could be other factors going on that cause them to realize that they just haven't taken the lens cap off. Again, this is something that I feel should never happen, but it's something that's so basic that it's actually very easy to make that mistake. Taking your lens cap off seems like something that's so routine, like turning your camera on, that it almost comes as second nature for the most part. However, there might be times where your brain just isn't working right and you don't subconsciously take the lens off. And when that happens, you're gonna run into a lot of issues. It's gonna be embarrassing when you look back at footage and all you have is a black screen, but you can hear the audio perfect. When something like this happens, you have to go all the way back to the beginning, you have to start your video completely over, and that's just gonna end up becoming much more frustrating, especially after you feel like you've got the best shot that you could get. The third point on my checklist is double checking the camera settings. Now every video you do is probably going to have different camera settings at some point throughout that video. Because of this, you're going to be messing with your settings a lot. So you always want to double check to make sure that you have the settings and where you want them to be. I know when I first started out making videos, I never really double checked the settings. I always just turned the camera on, made sure the lens cap was off and started recording. Now, this came to bite me in the butt uh, quite a few times because certain camera settings for one shot I got didn't need to be that for another shot that I got. And when I kept the camera settings the same, it kind of threw everything off. So you need to remember that every shot you take isn't gonna require the same camera settings. And when it's not requiring the same camera settings, 
there's gonna be things that you need to change. With cameras nowadays, there's so many different things that you can change, so even the smallest tweak to one setting could completely change the outlook of a shot that you're trying to get. So this is a reason why you need to always double check the settings on your camera before you even press that record button. And because some small changes in your camera settings can make a huge difference, this is probably the longest process for me when it comes to setting everything up before I start recording. Every shot, I want to make sure it's perfect. I want to make sure that all the settings are exactly what I want them to be so that I don't have to go back and redo a shot based on a couple small tweaks to either the aperture ISO or shutter speed. Even when you like using something like auto mode on your cameras for your videos, it's not always going to be the perfect settings for the shot that you want. So this is why you need to always make sure that your camera settings are where you want them to be so that you can get the shot that you want no matter what type of video you're trying to get. The fourth point I have on my checklist is to make sure that your camera is recording. Again, this is something that sounds silly, but there's been numerous times and I'm sure there's plenty of people that can relate to this. You start recording, but when you're done, you go to your camera and you see that you didn't capture anything that you just shot. This is one not only embarrassing, but you feel a little stupid when you do something like this. Every camera is going to be different when it shows that it's recording. So for example, the camera I'm using now, the only way I know it's recording is by looking at the display screen. With the display screen, you see that there's a timer that starts ticking. And that's the only way I know that I'm recording and I'm capturing the pictures that I want to capture. Other cameras might have a little red light or something that shows that it's actually recording. It's very important that you make sure your camera is recording before you start actually getting into the rhythm of your video because it's gonna be super frustrating when you're actually in a rhythm of your video, you've been talking for a few minutes, you're getting all the shots you want, and then when you look back at the footage, it's not there because you weren't recording any of that. And then you realize you have to start over, that's discouraging, and it kind of makes you feel like you're not gonna get the same exact shots again because more than likely you're not. You're not gonna get the perfect shots again if you feel like you had them the first time. And when all of that happens, it just feels like it's an uphill climb to try and get back to the quality of video that you wanna get back to. So before you really jump into making your videos right away, take your time, press the record button. However your camera shows you that it's recording, make sure that's recording, and then get into your video. Now the fifth and final point that I have on my checklist is to make sure that your microphone is on. Now every microphone is gonna be different because all of them plug in to a camera and they all have a different way of showing that they're actually on. So this is probably the hardest point on the checklist to make sure is actually working because every microphone is gonna be different. So the best way I could suggest to make sure that your microphone is actually on is to start recording something. Record for maybe a couple seconds, talk, do check, check, make sure, say something to Make sure that your microphone is actually capturing sound. Stop the recording, play it back real quick, and if in those few seconds you hear something, then your microphone is probably on. And if in those few seconds that you don't hear anything, then your microphone is probably not on. And you need to adjust something and then do that process over again. Now, a lot of cameras nowadays have built-in microphones, and for me, I will never use a built-in microphone because for your videos, you wanna have the best quality that you can have. That includes sound quality as well. So when you're using a camera and if you're trying to use a built-in microphone, you're not gonna get the best sound that you can get. Your audience wants to hear everything you're saying clearly, so you wanna make sure that you have at least a decent microphone so that your audience can hear you without any issues. So when you're using an external microphone, that's only gonna help you and your audience in the long run, regardless whether or not your camera has a built-in microphone. Ooh. A bonus point that I just thought of when it comes to this checklist is memory cards. Now, with camera technology nowadays, most of them are going to be able to tell you that your camera doesn't have a memory card in it before you start trying to film anything. For the ones that don't do that, you need to always make sure you have a memory card so that your camera can actually save that footage that you're getting somewhere. You don't want to film and film and film for minutes, possibly hours, and find out that none of that is saved because you forgot to put a, a small memory card in your camera. And it's always nice to have a few memory cards with you because some memory cards fill up a lot faster than others. And when that happens, you always wanna make sure you have a backup so that you don't miss any of the footage that you're trying to get. 
All right, so here we go. We're gonna a quick review on this ultimate checklist for what you need to do with your camera before you actually start recording any of your footage. You need to make sure that your camera is on. You need to make sure that your lens caps are off. You need to make sure and double check your camera settings so that they're exactly what you want them to be. You need to make sure that your camera is actually recording. You need to make sure that your microphone is on and you need to make sure you have some memory cards with you so that you can always save the footage that you're getting. It's not a hard checklist. A lot of these are things that you probably already do subconsciously, but it's important to make sure that even though these are little things that you always do them because if one of these isn't checked off, your video is gonna be completely different and it's just gonna be a mess to try and fix if you already recorded something and it's not exactly how you wanted it to be. So you may have your own checklist, but if you check off all the points on this checklist, I guarantee you're gonna be set up for the most success when it comes to your videos. Well, now when it comes to composition, lighting, content, and anything else that might fall into a video, that's gonna be on you because all of that is gonna be different for everyone. But the points on this checklist are things that everyone can follow and make sure that it's right so that they can have the best video. Now, if this is a video that you found pretty informative and it's one that you enjoyed a little bit, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any other points that you think deserve to be on this checklist, or you just have a funny story about how you screwed up trying to record a video once, leave a comment below. And if you're looking forward to many more Dare to Capture videos in the near future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So on that note, I'm Steven. Catch you in the next one. Peace.